Hello, YouTube, and welcome to the Diamond Series. We are here in Vanquisher Area 6. We have two hours and 40 minutes until it closes, and I think we're going to do pretty good. We've got our team ready. If you saw the last episode, we built the lineup. We've done a few tweaks to get it perfect. We are running on our team for this. A Aspen, an Ignis, Halora, Carrie, Holmes Jung, and Drake. The idea is that Drake will debuff the opponents, Aspen will whack them with melodic strings, and Ignis will energy feed the Aspen. We have two other demon bells on our lineup from Halora and Carrie as well, and Carrie will be stealing energy, and Halora will be putting Abyssal Corruption on enemies. So we'll be doing a ton of damage. And then Holmes Young, after he's been energy fed, will turn all the opponents into doves to make our life a lot easier. So we've got a ton of crowd control, we've got a lot of debuffing, and should be pretty good. I think this lineup will absolutely shred, and I think it's only really Vanquisher Area 2 I'm scared of. It's been a long time since I did a Vanquisher push, and times have changed. We have amazing things to improve the power of our team nowadays, so I'm excited to see where this goes. We're going to start off, I think this lineup is fine. Even though there's no Transcendence protection here, I don't want to waste our Signets. We've got 42 of them, which is nice. We got 65 energy boosters, so we're just going to go ahead and battle. We're going to use our preset lineup, and hopefully this works out pretty nicely. So let's start off with this first fight. So carries debuffed, that's excellent, which means Aspen smacks in. Oh, there you go, already doing a ton of damage to the opponents there without needing Transcendence Protection. Ton of crowd control coming out. I'm watching this Holmes Jung for the start of round two. He's going to turn opponents into doves, which is going to be really, really, really helpful. So that's if he gets an opportunity to. Oh, he turned one of them into a dove. That's that's nice. So Russell's in the air. I don't think it's going to matter. I'm pretty sure he's going to die. Yep. And we're left with a carry, a bell rain. Should be able to kill them pretty easily. Just two carries left now. Got them locked out with crowd control. They're both now turned into doves. And oh yeah, okay. Vanquisher area six. Super easy. Look at that. Totally destroyed. Didn't even need transcendence protection. This next one has transcendence protection. Oh, we are going to ruin this. Oh my word. This is going to get destroyed. Because we're going to have so much more damage here. Please kill them. Aspen, I'm so ready for this. Round two is going to be huge. Bang. Oh my word, no, the Garuda. She did, she's, she's alive. Oh, she's a dove now. Hilarious. So that's one of the cool things about this, is we're going to be facing a lot of Garudas, and Lord of Fear Aspen is able to crowd control them. So is Holmes Young, and Carrie can steal their energy, so Garuda probably won't be as much of an issue. Even here, double Garuda probably still beat this pretty easily. So let's get them dead. Here we go. Okay, look at that already. Carrie marking the Amon Ra and one of the Garudas. Very helpful. Aspen's active, ready to pop off now. Really nice that he gets, like, all the active skills here, which is good. Especially if this Ignis dies, that'd be super helpful. Gotta watch out for Amon Ra's healing curse, though. Okay, got a bit of an issue, though, with the placement of Aspen. He really should be hitting that carry in slot three. Uh, the Ada really doing a great job of tanking here. Oh my word, we survived a Garuda active? That's bonkers. Oh, and there's the hit. Oh my word. Here we go. Can we kill this last Garuda? Oh, the energy steal from Carrie. That's massive. Oh, that Garuda's totally out of action now. Yeah, she is doing nothing. We just got to take her down. Come on, that's, that's some good crowd control here. Keeping them locked. Even without Transcendence Protection. I think we get this. Yep. We should have it. Just got to kill Garuda. And there she goes. Real nice there. Ton of damage. Fantastic. Right, two more planets to go. And this has Transcendence Protection. Should be very good. And he said targeting slot 5 is good, since Garuda's usually there. Well, well, we'll just move around if we need to in the preset lineup. I'm just using the preset as it stands, because it's going to be better for our bonuses. Actually, that reminds me... I have a flank chest in the bag. So if we ever get to a point where we feel like we're not doing enough damage, I could even do it right now. I could go ahead and get ourselves a Transcendence Flag and put that on the Halora. Oh, that's a really, really good idea, actually. So as soon as this fight's over, and as soon as we've cleared Area 6, I'm going to put the Transcendence Flag on Halora to improve our damage. So that'd be pretty decent. This Garuda's being sticky, even though she's got Drake's defense down. Like, she, she's, she's being a pain in the butt. Oh, carry steal on our energy. Like, this is one of the worst possible teams. Like, two carries and a Garuda is just not fun. Ah, <laughs> but our carry steals energy too. Nice. Come on, Aspen. Big active. Oh, dude. He's just not hitting as hard as we need him to. 
There's our Phoenix. Nice. No, oh, I feel like this Garuda is going to get an active on us. Yep, that was unlucky. I have one flag chest here, so we're going to absolutely grab a Transcendence flag, and we will put that on her right now and get this up to level six. Okay, here we go. We got the carry in slot two. We've moved our Aspen to slot two. We don't have any Transcendence protection, but we now do have a flag on Halora, which will massively, massively help. Already! That was absolutely huge. Fantastic. Are the imprints pure damage? Oh, they sure are. Yes. We have holy damage, crit damage, and armor break. I might swap to crit if we're not critting enough, though. Although, that was incredibly good. Fantastic job. All right. Here we go. Okay, we're in Vanquisher Area 5. I think with performances like that, yeah, I'm putting Balance Strike on him. Balance Strike. There you go. Might be a bit risky, but I think it'll be fun. And we're on 3 million attack, so... I think we're going to be just fine. Let's go back into Void Vortex then. And we've got some fun planets to smash out. Okay, look at that. Oh, that's funny. Double Russell with Transcendence Protection. They are absolutely dead. Okay, Tara taking a nasty hit there. So Tara's about to get debuffed by Drake for round two. And then Aspen's active in round two is going to absolutely slay. I think we're going to see most of this drop. Here we go. There it is. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that's Sherlock and Russell barely hanging in there, which means Aspen definitely cleans up. There you go. Massive damage there. Look at those stellar shards coming in. Fantastic. Here we go. Next fight with Transcendence Protection. And Halora's got all defensive stuff. She's damage reduction, control immunity, and block. So nicely built. Very secure. And actually, yeah, I think putting Halora in slot one, much nicer here because it means we do get Halora's pings more often because Garuda's always, always go ahead and target slot one with their basic. So it just makes them lose a little bit more HP, which is a nice thing. All right, look at that. Only a carry remaining. Drake's still alive here. Should ruin this. And Holmes being dazzled annoying. That's true, that's true, but we'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, Holmes getting the dove. Nice. And Aspen, can you get the finish? There it is. Oh, no, he didn't crit. Silly Aspen. I think Holmes should finish this, though. That's a lot of poison. That's like, what, 30 layers of poison? <laughs> That'll do it. Right, Elon 211. Here we go, folks. No Transcendence protection, but we do have Fortress protection and Dark protection, which is good because we do run Fortress heroes and Dark heroes. So we should still be okay. Bell Rain getting bullied here, that's for sure. We got Energy Steel on the Russell and the Garuda, which is kind of like the best case scenario here. So that's nice. Got to watch out for this carry, though, in slot three. Uh, she's dead. Never mind. That was a fairly easy win. Here we go. Get the kill, Aspen. That's all you need to do. Just a little bit of energy feed there. There goes Holora. Bang. Oh, my word. Just actives every round, man. Because when we get hit by the opponents, they feed us energy as well. So it's nice. Yeah, look at that. Carry's dead. And now everything should focus on the Garuda. We got the energy steal from our carry. And yeah, we're just going to bully her until she dies. There it is. Gulf 113. Ooh, triple carry, but no Garuda. Pretty confident this might be easy enough. Because if you look, this wave is actually just really squishy. Like, for example, if you were using a sword flash here, this would be like ideal scenario. Because you could one-shot this entire wave with impeccable flow. For sure. Because... That happens, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure we just killed a Sherlock now. Um, I'm worried about one of the carries coming back. Oh, two of them came back. Wow, okay. Yeah, so we're going to have to do that all over again, but kill the carries in one hit, which might be a little hard now they're going to try and steal our energy. I think we're still okay, though. Okay, yeah. They're going to be a pain. I want to dove them both. Oh, great job. Holmes dubbing them both. Awesome. So now we just got to deal with them. Get them dead, please. Active from Halora. Perfect. Aspen just doing a basic. That's unfortunate. Come on. You can finish him. Oh, Aspen, please. Big active. Go. Get the kill. Oh, he got dodged. Now we're going to get energy stolen as well. Oh, my word. I won't be surprised if triple carry is a problem because it is an annoying situation because they keep resurrecting each other. This was absolutely the meta back in 2020. Just running three carries like this. Just horrid. Or more if you had to. But yeah, we kill them. 
we're fine. And then here we go. Kier 103. Should be easy. We've got a cruise here. Um, he might stun us, but this wave looks fine. Double Penny is annoying, but with Halora being faster than Aspen, we should be okay. And with that kind of energy steal as well, that's good. Um, so we're going to get a lot of punishment coming out here. Ada should get defense downed by Drake at the start of round two. Big active from Aspen should pass over. Probably killing both of the pennies, actually, if the damage is big enough. We'll see, though. Let's see what Drake can do with the defense down. Yep, it's on the Ada. So there you go. Big damage. Wow, just a penny left, and she's absolutely dead. Turning into a dove and getting absolutely annihilated by the team. And damage over time kills her. Perfect. Which means Vanquisher Area 5 is now beaten. Uh, that wave's winnable. Delacium is a pain in the butt, though. Oh, mate. Carry coming back. Very irritating. Very, very, very irritating. Because that, that could have saved them, actually. Because Aspen had an active ready to go as well. Oh, my word. He's dodged twice. That's insane. How How is Carry that tricksy? You know what? This wave's a lot worse than I thought it would be. Right? I might need to start using Signets. There we go. Transcendence Protection. That should get it for us. Here we go. Now we're going to do a lot more damage. There you go. Far better. So the main thing that was stopping us, you could say it was targeting the carry, but really, I mean, it's the fact we were very, very vulnerable and we didn't do a lot of damage. Like, protection is huge. Like, signets give you so much extra damage. Like, look at that, right? The team just gets melted. So if you've got transcendence protection, it really, really helps when using transcendence heroes. Same goes if you're using, like, an Eloise. Shadow protection really helps because the debuffs from planets are really horrible. Okay, that's going to be a dead Delacium pretty soon. Just got to deal with this carry as well. She's been a pain in the butt. But we do have an active skill from Aspen. As long as we don't get dodged, we should be okay. Carry did take damage. That's nice. Carry taking a lot here. Ada's been hit as well. Come on. Get them. We're nearly there. We are so close. Carry's about to die. Ada's about to die as well. There is no way they live this. No chance. Come on. Come on. There it is. Fantastic. <laughs> Aspen died in the process. <laughs> Uh, we got the win. Perfect. Right, Zane 105 is the one with the Olivia, so we'll ignore that. That's got Transcendence Protection, so even though it's double carry Amon Ra Garuda, we should be okay here. Bell Rain is now lowest HP, so she's going to take the debuff from Drake here at start round two, and we should be able to, like, just murk the team. There you go. There's Aspen. Big. Fantastic. We should be able to kill the Amon Ra now as well. She's very low health. Uh-oh, we've lost Ignis, but that's good. That means energy feed for Aspen. Okay, we lived. Cool. We've lost Halora, though, which is annoying. Right. <sighs> Crashing into Amon Ra's bubble's not good. So Amon Ra, her getting an active skill there. Aspen is now in slot 5 to focus this Amon Ra. Let's see if we can get a lowest HP. She'll get debuffed, then we kill her. And that'll be a lot nicer. And I won't kill the Amon Ra with two actives. Well, the first active sets her up to be debuffed by Drake, which should give defense down, which is then going to protect us. The only issue is we've been energy stolen on Aspen, so that's annoying. And Amon Ra got an active herself, which is very annoying. So we just got unlucky here. But I think if Aspen can get another active going into round three, we should be okay. Just worried about where Amon Ra's healing curse has ended up. And there you go. That's good. We've killed the Amon Ra. And the dubs here were really, really good as well. Actually, the crowd control here is just phenomenal because the aid is also hit with Horrify. So yeah, Holmes Jung really pulled it out the back there. That was nice. Amon Ra, <laughs> slot three this time. I'm going to go and move Aspen. Aspen's now in slot three. Let's beat this. Okay, here we go. Aspen, you've got defense down on the Amon Ra. It's all going to be perfect. You're going to kill her. Let's go. Big hit. Nice. Good. So with Amon Ra gone, that's the main threat disappeared. Holmes Jung with two doves is nice. The opposing Aspen dove is actually really helpful. So, your problem hero here is probably Asmodel, to be fair. Crit marks are annoying. So, if we can get him gone, that'd be very helpful. And if we just get good energy feed and energy steal for the opponents, we'll be fine. Oh, Aspen. <sighs> he hit hard, man. He really hit us hard. I feel like we're going to die to this. Come on. Our Aspen needs to get a big active hit. Yes! Oh, that was so lucky. Really nice. Now we just need to lock out this Ada, which we should do. But she does so much passive damage. And I think we're going to die to that. Yeah, we did. We lost the Aspen to it. 
Oh, that was horrible. I'm going to put Transcendence Protection in. Oh, first time. Perfect. Really, really lucky. So we should get this. Oh yeah, way bigger damage. It really makes a huge difference when you've got Transcendence Protection. <laughs> Honestly, there was a time when like Vanquisher was the highest thing any account could achieve. And for many people, it was just a matter of how lucky you got with your Transcendence Protection and with your Signets in general. That was one key way to beat it. But it looks like we're good here. Yep, Tara's dead. And then that poor Raider at the front, she's just going to get bullied. Oh yeah, there's the Energy Steal. Very nice. And I think one huge active is enough to take her down. Fantastic. So we got Golf 207 here. That one, I'm going to try. We don't have Transcendence Protection. This one really, really kicked us in the butt last time. But we're in a different slot here, which is quite nice. We might need to target that Drake in slot 5. But hitting the Bell Rain, actually pretty decent here. Because we should do a big active now. Yep. Ooh, nearly killing the Russell. Actually, he should get finished off by some end around damage. You got the black hole mark on him. Yeah, Russell should fall here. Pretty for sure he's going to drop out the sky. Just got to deal with the carries afterwards. Oh my word, Russell lived? Okay, cool. Never mind. Basic from Aspen got him. Uh, Drake is horrified. So we're now in a situation where it's a 4v5. Never mind, 4v4. Um, although, <laughs> Aspen's just got to do this. Come on. The carries are so annoying, though. Okay, Drake's dead. Now it's just... Oh, Sherlock, carry, carry. It's it's hideous. It's so hideous. Come on. With no Transcendence Protection, this is annoying. Oh my word, carry with the dodge. Of course, of course. Right, cool. I'm going to pop Transcendence Protection on that. Oh, Shadow. Come on. Light. No. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. That was way too late. I'd rather use Signets than Gems, though, because it costs us money to reset the uh, the waves. Don't want to waste stuff for that. We should still be okay here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Super clean. When we have Transcendence Protection, these waves are no issue at all. So it's just trying to get those high rolls against waves where we don't have the protection, just to save us for Signets later on. But whenever I do Vanquisher runs, I always end up with Signets left over. This is a hideous wave, though. I'm gonna reset. Anything's better than that. Ooh, okay, that's that's winnable. That's very winnable. Granted, we do have a Sherlock and two carries to deal with, and we already saw earlier how problematic they are to deal with. Okay, to beat these two carries, we need Aspen in slot two. So let's see if that's enough to do this. Because I had tried it, we got dodged by carry. That wasn't nice. Defense down, on the other hand, prevents the dodge entirely, which gives us the win condition. There are people who consider using Aspen as a tenant instead of Drake for an Aspen. It's not worth it. Sacrificing having a Drake on your team is just not worth it because defense down is too important. Very nice. Good hit there. Right, get some good doves, please, Holmes. Okay, hitting the Sherlock. That's really, really helpful. Come on. Keeping those backliners CC'd. Really nice. I build both, that's that's true, but if you're struggling with dark food, then choose Drake over Aspen. Alright, should get an active from Aspen now. Okay, good, Sherlock is dead. That's very, very helpful. And I think we're going to see that Russell fall as well. If not, it's next round for sure. He's getting a lot of pings here from Halora, though. Energy feed onto our Aspen. Oh, that carry coming back. That's annoying. Very annoying. Russell is in the air. Is he going to die? Yes, he does. Perfect. Oh, we are getting energy stolen, though. That resurrection from the carry is super annoying. Our carry doing nice. Oh, man. that's that was, that was a tough fight. You know the big issue? Ada constantly ruining our healing and making us take a little bit more damage every single round. I'm just going to get Transcendence Protection here. Oh, my word. Where is it? There it is. Right, 32 Signets. I'm worried. I am worried about how low our Signet count is. I feel like I'm being too aggressive with Signets. Then again, you never know. Next wave, we might get some good protection. But we still got half of Vanquisher left. Either way, Aspen should clean this up. It's mad how much easier this is when you've got protection, though. 
There's Phoenix, which means our basic attack should do a lot of damage there. Yeah, killing Balrain. I've got the double carry to deal with. We steal their energy. Absolutely brilliant. So let's get them dead. Come on, Holmes. Good doves. Nice. Triple dove. And then this is going to be an active from Aspen, which gets the win. Ooh, not quite. That enemy carry there is so annoying. Ada's dead. And it looks like we're going to kill this carry as well. She's now a dub. There's nothing she can do. She's completely locked out. And there, I think that's going to be an easy win. Just one nice big active from Aspen now. Oh my word, the other carry came back. Oh, not for long though. Nice. And we got a protection signet in return. Sweet. Okay, Vanquisher Area 3 with 29 attacks left, 33 signets remaining. Does anywhere have Transcendence Protection? This one does. Excellent. Let's start with this one. Okay, amazing start. Huge damage. Very, very fragile opposing team here. It's got to hit them and kill them. Drake's down. Oh, yeah. Energy stealing the Sherlock. Fantastic. Enemy carries back in slot 2. Oh, and she's dead straight away. She didn't dodge us. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is a win. This is totally a win. Come on. Let's get a big active here. Yep, that'll do it. Fantastic. Great start to Vanquisher Area 3. We've got Transcendence Protection on this one as well. Weird wave. Three carries. Don't like that. And two Sherlocks. What is this? Yuck. They're fragile, but... Are they going to be fragile enough? Let's find out, folks. Come on. Oh, we killed the Sherlock already, one of them. Dubbing the other one. Now that Russell on the back line there, though, could do an active on us, could cause us some problems. We are going to lose Drake, and Halora's going to take a few hits, but she does survive, which means we get an active from Halora. It's not enough, though, because she was dazzled. We don't get energy stolen on our Aspen. We do now. Triple carry, really irritating. We're getting there, though. We're putting out decent damage. We just need a really huge active skill from Aspen now. That'll do it. Perfect. I think we hunt Transcendence Protection. Okay, we get it first time here. Oh, that's amazing. I think we'll be good here. Carry in slot one is defense downed. And we instant kill the Bell Rain. Oh, that's actually quite helpful. Very helpful. Oh, Aspen getting energy stolen is unhelpful. Okay. Oh, he's going to get energy stolen again. Man, those carries are high rolling us. Bro. Okay, energy's back on Aspen. Oh my goodness. We just need a huge active from our Aspen here. Oh! And he gets it! Wow! Oh, that was amazing. And now we just kill the last carry. Come on. Oh, no. 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 No! They're dodging everything! Come on, Aspen! Stay alive! Oh my word, this is intense. Please, Aspen, please. Don't die. Oh, the energy steal, it's horrible. There's one carry left. Get her. Oh, there it is. <sighs> that was crazy. Two planets left. And they're both double Garuda planets. I'm resetting this. Much easier. Much, much easier. Transcendence protection first time. Amazing. Here we go. Vanquisher is annoying. Okay, killing the Bell Rain instantly. Really nice. Okay, is that backline Garuda going to be a problem? The Amon Ra is crowd controlled. That's good. Hmm. Okay. Let's get a big active from Aspen. Oh, it didn't crit the carry. Oh, no way. There's no way this is a loss. Come on, guys. I think it is. I think it is. We're just going to have to go back in. Try again. Second time lucky. Let's get it. Okay, same as last time. Bellrain dies straight away. Just got to get a huge hit on the carry. Come on, Aspen. Big active, big active, big active. Oh, he's definitely got it. We're going to get spillover damage and everything. It's going to be huge. Come on. Okay, that's good. That was good. Worried about that backline Garuda, though. Oh, we might steal her energy. If Carrie gets a lucky basic. No. Oh, we didn't take a lot, though. She's been attack stolen seven times. Ha! 
<laughs> oh, look at that. Wow. Sweet. Okay, one planet left then. It's a double Garuda wave, so we'll reset it. That's not the worst. Can we get T protection? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, that was a waste. Yeah, that took a lot. Here we go. Let's take him down. So we're going to be focusing Ada here, which is quite nice. Ada is one of those really annoying heroes, so getting her killed early is actually a good thing. So we should be seeing Drake's defense down hit her. And then if we're lucky, we will get an active skill from Aspen in round two. I need Ignis to die, but in a dove form, I don't think she's going to feed us energy. So, yeah. I think Aspen's just going to do a basic. Yeah, it wasn't ideal. Then again, Homejung gets an active. Oh, triple dove. Very nice. Very, very good indeed. So, I think this is going to still be fine, provided we don't take too much damage. Should get a massive active skill from Aspen here in round three. Phoenix might even join in. Oh, she does. Oh, yeah. Good. Okay, that Garuda is an issue, though. A real problem. Oh, and Carrie gets the energy steal. Never mind. Dealt with. Fantastic. Oh, there it is. That's fantastic. Just got to kill this Garuda now. Before the carries come back. A one's back. That's fine. That's winnable. Just got to kill the Garuda. Yep. Perfect. Now it's just two carries. But with four of our heroes alive, I think we're fine. Like, the carries, there's no way they beat us. Not at all. One's dead already. Let's kill the other one. I really hope the other one doesn't come back. <laughs> oh, no way. She might. Oh, she did. Oh, goodness me. Carries are such a joke. Oh, that was a good hit. That was a good hit. Come on. Kill her. Oh, no. The resurrections. It never ends. Stop this. There we go. Finally. Oh. <sighs> Right, here we go. Vanquisher Area 2, the hardest part of this. Let's get it beat. Transcendence Protection, going in for an early one. Fantastic. Great start. And what's the weirdest fetish I have? Uh, banning people in chat who ask weird questions. So, um, yeah, there you go. Uh, let's see how this wave plays out. Sherlock there in slot 1. Let's see if we can kill him. Got an active coming from Aspen. I don't know if it'll be enough, though. Let's find out. Oh, it wasn't enough. Yeah, I probably need defense down here. Vanquisher Area 2 is going to be a little tricky. Oh, the energy steal on our Aspen. Not nice. Really not nice. So yeah, we took a lot of damage there. That was... I think that was just a bad wave. Let's try again. Oh, where's our marks out? Yeah, Drake got energy stolen. We've CC'd a bunch of the back line. I think everyone except for Drake there. But Drake's not going to do much. He's defense down too, which is good. Aspen. Oh, yes! Killing Sherlock straight out. Yeah. Oh, dear, though. We are getting silenced on our main heroes. These planets do silence us. We might need fortress protection so that, that doesn't happen to Holmes. Ah, yuck. Okay, we'll leave that planet for now. Gulf 114. That, that's also got Transcendence protection. Okay, let's go. Starting off good. Amon Ra gets smacked. Looking fine. Good crowd control there on the Garuda as well. So we should see, nice big active skill, killing the Ammon Ra. She's definitely going to be lowest HP here, so Drake should get the debuff. Oh, yep, there you go. Ada, ha! Oh, taking a huge hit there. Aspen taking a huge hit there. Garuda crowd controlled. Oh, this is good. And half the team's dead. Very good. Very, very good. So now all we need is to watch them fall. Aspen's down. Good. There comes Halora. Good hit there from Aspen. Come on. Let's get Ada out of here. Okay, CC on the Garuda. Nice. Excellent. Great kill. Really good start. That's one beaten. That one looks fine. So let's get some Transcendence Protection here. Amon Ra is still in slot 4. So let's hunt her down. Let's kill her. Let's do this. Should be an easy one. Okay. Amon Ra taking not as many hits there as I hoped she would. We've got Energy Steel on the enemy carry. Energy Steel on the Garuda. Nasty hit there from Dark Arthendol. Just nasty hits in general. Wow, and Amon Ra got an active. Get out of here. 
Okay, that was not not nice. Let's go again. Okay, better. Dark Arthur Doll again with an active though. Oh, and then Carrie steals her energy. Carrie steals a lot of energy actually. Look, even Garuda's getting energy stolen here. Very nice. So I'm feeling confident here about round two. But I don't know if Amon Ra is going to be lowest HP. Hmm. We'll see. See if she gets it. Oh, she did. Oh, fantastic. Oh, wow. Wow. That was good. That was a really good hit. So I'm pretty confident we're going to be in a winning position now. Yeah, I don't think there's much they can do to stop us. Big active skill from Aspen should be it now. Oh, that was only a basic. That's annoying. Oh, Garuda, you little poo head. Why? Why did you do that? Go again. Come on. Okay, good energy steal again. Nice. Although Amon Ra barely took anything. I don't think this is going to be a win. Oh, it is! Oh, I stole a victory from you! I'm so sorry, guys. Right, now we've got these crappy waves still. I mean, this one was... This one wasn't pleasant. Uh, I'm going to reset that opponent. That's worse. Right, we need to buy some burners. So I'm going to buy a nice round 50 for 1250. And we'll reset again. This could be a hard one, because there's two Aiders. But, we do have only one carry, and only one Garuda. So if we can focus down the Amon Ra, get her dead, that's the main problem Hero dealt with, and don't get energy stolen, we should be okay. Aspen with a big enough active here, I feel confident we'll be okay. Then again, Amon Ra, is she going to get an active skill here? No, she doesn't. Oh, it wasn't enough. Do we have Transcendence Protection against this? Oh, I mean, Home Jung with a fantastic triple dove there. Oh, this feels like we're in a great position. Yeah, nice. Worried about Garuda getting some energy there. That might be an issue for us. Uh, okay, we lived, we lived. It didn't hit Aspen. Come on. Good CC still. The enemy carry not being nice. Then again, I mean, this this is still potentially winnable. It just depends if we can kill that Garuda before she kills us. And Tara does a lot of damage. Wow. And is that with Transcendence Protection? That was. Right, let's go again. Energy Steel there. Worried about the Amon Ra getting an active skill. That's unfortunate. She is going to put up some bubbles. Which, unless Halora gets energy, we're not going to be able to go ahead and tear through. I don't think Halora is going to get energy. Oh, she does get a little bit. Okay. Okay, this is good. Yeah, nice. Very nice. And Home Jung with a four-way dove. And the hero that didn't get dove was Garuda. Oh, this is good. Yep. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, yeah. Nice. Perfect. That was way better. Really good way to go. Okay, Ozil 205 and Elon 211 now. Oh, that one, that looks fine. Really fine. How did that one slip the net? Let's go beat this one. Okay, great start against the Michelle. Fantastic. Stealing energy from the Dark Arthendol. Dark Arthendol now going to be next lowest HP, which means we should get a spillover again. Oh no, Michelle comes back, of course. Uh, Dark Arthendol's dead. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is really, really good. Now, let's get this. Come on. Active from Aspen should be beautiful here. That's definitely going to kill the Aspen Elk. Oh, no, we Verada. Still fine. Got the kill. So now we're left with Valkyrie and Aspen. Yeah, well, as long as we CC both of them, we should be fine. Valkyrie's not doing too much to us. So I think with a big active, we're good. Nice. Vanquisher Area 2, nearly fully beaten. We have one planet left. So let's get some Transcendence Protection. And let's put in an opponent I think we're going to be fine against. Triple Ada just sounds too not fun. Triple Carry can go suck a big one. Hmm. Unimax Horus? Is that going to be hard? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's see how it goes. We might just shred it, given all the protection we have. I'm fine with that, if that's the end result. Getting some good hits there on the opponents. 
And I, th I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, this looks good. This looks very good. So Aspen's round two active. It's going to be a big one, I think. That enemy Aspen getting an active round one. A little annoying, but we're still alive, so we take that. Here we go. Okay, haven't killed the enemy Aspen. Now we have Holmes Jung joining in, which is always good. And here we go. Aspen gets a round three active. Oh yeah, with Phoenix as well. This should be an easy one. Yep. So we've got three opponents left. It's Unimax and Horus. Pretty sure we absolutely destroy this. Oh, but no. Unimax absolutely destroys us. Not to be underestimated. Let's try again. Okay, that's good. Big damage on Aspen there. Nice. Which means he is going to get defense downed here. Which definitely means we're going to get a bigger, bigger active skill in round two than we did last time. So... Let's get into round two and see what happens. Here we go. Nice. Way better. Huge damage on Unimax and on Horus there. Let's see if we can get them dead. Got another active coming from Aspen here. Perfect. Really clean. Ada's dead. And that's a win. One area remaining. Vanquisher area one. Every planet now has Transcendence Protection. So let's go see if we can beat them. Here we go. So this one starts off with an Amon Ra in slot 5, which is where our Aspen already is, so this should be fine. Just got an Energy Stealer, but we didn't, so I think we're going to lose this one. So we'll skip. Oh, we won? No way! I was imagining the Amon Ra active would have totally screwed us, but no, it's, I guess our Halora popped the ball. Sweet. Alright. This one, I feel like we can get more protection here. Dark protection. Let's see if we can get Fortress as well. Oh my word, it took a while, but it's there. Here we go. Let's beat this. Oh, nice. Instant killing the carry. The Amon Ra in slot 3. Uh-oh. Then again, we should still be fine. We are going to focus our attacks into Garuda here. A little annoying. Halora should get an active, which is fine. So she'll remove the bubbles. And then Aspen goes in with a big hit. Almost killing the Garuda. Oh, there you go. That's it. And then the triple dove... Home Jung, I could kiss him. That's fantastic. And I love how the carry resurrects, but she's got defense down because she's still lowest HP. Funny. Although, hmm, the opponents are starting to free up here. Then again, there's some energy feed from our Ignis. Oh, and then carry snipes the energy off of our Aspen. That's irritating. Oh, but a four-way dove from Home Jung. Rui Scepter and energy feed, putting in work. This is going to be a massive... Massive hit. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Really nice. So, we've got three planets left. Let's get them finished. Here we go. Now, we might need to move Aspen to hit slot four here, because that's where Amon Ra is. But, you never know. Hitting the Aiders might actually be okay. Let's see how it plays out. No Garudas to deal with, so it's a good thing. Okay, wow, Home Jung with four doves. He's absolutely been pulling it out here in Vanquisher Area 1. Told you Area 1 would be easier than Area 2. Nice. It's got to get a little bit of energy feed here. Oh yeah, now Aspen smacks. Not the biggest damage, but we're getting there. Ooh, good energy steal. Really good energy steal. So I think that's looking good. There you go, active skill from Aspen doing fantastic. Ignis doing exactly what she was there to do. Die and energy feed us in those later rounds. That Ada looks like she's about to fall. So we just need to get a nice hit from Aspen here. He's definitely going to do a basic because the carry's energy steal. So that's really good as well. Now we've just got two carries to deal with. We should be able to beat them. We've got Drake still alive. So that's defense down. We're just going to circumvent the dodge. Our carry's just come back. And then, yeah, we should be absolutely fine against this now. Drake still alive. Really, really helpful. And that's a great kill. Next fight. Two planets left. This one, we'll put some extra protection in here too, because we can. And then, hmm, this should be okay as well. We're going to hit Russell, which actually should be very good for us. Because even though he's not the lowest HP now, he definitely will be by round two. So you ready for it? It's going to be big. Let's see a nice big round two active. Ooh, Homejung dying already. That's annoying. 
That's sad. Oh, Garuda, where did that come from, you little poo head? Try again. Definitely winnable. Definitely, definitely winnable. That felt okay. So we're nearly there. We've nearly got it. So two more attacks, and we should be fine. Energy steal on the Russell. Awesome. So watch this happen. Start round two. There's a defense down on Russell. So now there's the active. Nice and big. Worried about Garuda. Home Jong turns her into a dove. Oh, it's so good. And I'm pretty confident that's going to be a win for us. Really easy. Oh, yeah. So, Sherlock and Carrie remaining. And then one planet stands between us and beating Vanquisher. So let's get it beat. Here we go. Is that going to be a dead Sherlock? It sure is. So here we go. 4101. Let's just put all the protection we need in. Let's get dark protection. There it is. And Amon Ra is absolutely the target. Didn't have to reset many waves here, which is nice. So here we go. Halora coming out there. Good hit on the Amon Ra. Crowd control's out there too. Didn't get energy steal on the Amon Ra, so she will put up bubbles, but hopefully an active skill from Halora is going to allow us to get rid of those bubbles. Just going to have to see it. Nope, she just did a basic. That's irritating. But home Jung with the doves. Awesome. Four doves coming out there. Fantastic. Okay, a little bit of energy feed, and we should be great for an active skill. Phoenix is going to come out here, though, which could put us a little out of sync. Yeah, so we're just going to hit the back line with the Phoenix buff. Decent damage. And you say it's insane seeing endgame content like this? Oh, I promise you, dude. Vanquisher is not endgame. Vanquisher is kind of still, like, probably the end of early game. The start of mid game. Like, beating Vanquisher is definitely, definitely not in-game content. Like, this is... this is There's still a whole other one after this. A whole other wave. Like, Dominator. And that's considered, like, a mid-game achievement. Beating Dominator. And look at that. We should get another big active here. And we absolutely get it. Come on. Here we go. Aspen, come on. One active. That's all it's going to take. As long as it lands. Come on. Oh, no. Right, Holmes backing us up with three doves. I'll take that. A carry at slot six. She's not an issue. Come on. Yeah, we killed her. Okay. So one active and we win, I think. Oh, carry just lived. <laughs> Man, we're getting teased out of this. And there we go. Oh, we didn't crit the Sherlock. Come on, come on. Please kill him. Please kill him. If those carries resurrect, I'm going to be fuming. Oh, one of them's back. Uh-oh. Come on, please. All right, Sherlock's dead. Now it's just two carries. Carries always stalling. Home Jung with the double dove, please. Perfect. And that is absolutely going to be a win, surely. Oh my word, one of the carries broke free. Is it enough? There it is. Absolutely fantastic. Clean, yeah. It took us just over an hour, but we beat all of Vanquisher. With a pretty solid team. LFA is a beast. Absolutely agreed. And that is a huge milestone for the Diamond Series. So let's claim our Stellar Shards for this. For those of you curious about the team, we are running Halora, Drake, Carrie, Holmes Young. We have Aspen and Ignis. And the Stellar Shards were invested in Lord of Fear Aspen to make it Tree of Origin 5. We got Halora for Tree of Origin 5 as well. And uh, yeah, pretty solid lineup indeed. Definitely some things you can do there if you wanted to copy that. Very, very simple lineup for a Lord of Fear Aspen. And yeah, nice. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you guys can copy that for yourselves. And if you want to catch more Lord of Fear Aspen content, because we will be going into Void Campaign very soon. Also, we have an event to complete on here as well, where we're going to be getting some sublimation and huge rewards. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time. Until then, though, have a good week. 
and happy idling. <laughs>